The Cyclinic Brown Bear Study was initiated in May of 2012. The study is part of an ongoing effort by management agencies to improve understanding and management of Kodiak brown bears. Most work to date has focused on study areas of Kodiak Ireland, the largest island of the Kodiak archipelago. This work has resulted in an outstanding brown bear research and management program that is recognized worldwide. The main Kodiak bear study areas to date are Terror Bay, Zacker and Spiridon Bays, Southwest Kodiak, and the Aliuluk Peninsula. The estimated bear population, Kodiak Archipelago, is 3,500 animals. Because Kodiak bears occur at high densities and are immense in size, they attract hunters, photographers, and wildlife viewers from around the world. Sitkalitic Island is the third largest island of the Kodiak Archipelago at 137 square miles. Old Harbor Native Corporation owns the majority of the island and allows a public access through a permit system. There has been a human presence on Sikhalitic Island for thousands of years, including settlements of native Aleutic people and a large whaling station. From the early 1900s to the early 1980s, a cattle operation on the island and associated control measures severely depressed the bear population. Available information indicates that a bear population has rebounded substantially since removal of cattle from the island. The study purpose is to obtain population data necessary to develop management actions for wise use of the island's bear resource. There are three main study objectives. The primary objective was to estimate the population of bears on Sitkalitic Island. This was important because it is an area where bear numbers have increased in recent years. Also, the east side of Kodiak Island has been identified as an area where more current bear data is needed. The second objective was to learn more about general movements and seasonal distribution of bears. This information is important to identify key bear habitat and better manage public use of Sitkalitic Island. The final objective was to study survival and reproduction, key information needed for managers. Additionally, it's important to learn how these parameters compare with similar information from the other study areas of Kodiak Island. These comparisons give clues as to how to adapt management of bear subpopulations in specific areas. The Sitkalitic study was conducted using standard industry methods. Bears are located for capture by a ground crew glassing from vantage points or by a pilot biologist spotter team searching in a fixed wing plane. Once animals or tracks are sighted, the spotter plane directs the helicopter to the bear. A biologist in the rear of the helicopter then darts the bear at close range with a sedative compound. After the bear is darted, the helicopter moves away and the spotter plane keeps track of the darted bear and reports when the bear becomes immobile. Sometimes supplemental doses of sedative are administered to make sure the bear is safely anesthetized. Processing the bear includes taking blood samples, attaching a radio collar, tattooing a lip, and taking measurements which include skull length and width, neck circumference, and a total length. A final important task is to extract a small vestigial premolar which is sent to a laboratory where growth rings provide an age estimate. After bears are captured and collared, the actual information is collected by aerial survey. This survey provides the population estimate. The entire study area is searched at low level by pilot biologist teams. Each sighting of a single bear or bear group, i.e. a female with cubs, is recorded and a radio receiver is turned on to determine whether or not the bear is radio collared. At least three replicate surveys are completed to obtain statistically valid data. They are comparing the total number of bears spotted versus the number of collared bears spotted, 
creating a citability index and thus giving an overall population estimate. Results of the aerial surveys to date show a citability index of 40%, giving a population estimate of 68 independent bears out of a total of 84 bears. This estimate was much higher than previous estimates and thus is key information to managers. Subsequent aerial monitoring of the radio collared bears is also providing important information on seasonal habitat use and bear survival. The Cichlidic Study is a cooperative effort of the Kodiak Brown Bear Trust, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, Safari Club International, Old Harbor Native Corporation, and Koniak Regional Native Corporation.